There's something that happens more than you think in the aquarium hobby that can completely ruin this for anybody that it happens to. You need to know this. Maybe the video should be, don't have cats when you're trying to make videos. I'm just gonna be hair on my face now. You are crazy. If you're watching this video doing research about getting your first aquarium, or you're gonna be making some changes in your life there is one bit of information that you absolutely have to have that will make or break this hobby for you. This happened to Lisa and I twice. Let me tell you two different stories and you can see if you can figure out what the point of this video is. Let me take you all the way back to 2010. Lisa and I moved into a house on Kings Highway in King George. And this was a great house because it was convenient to everything and it was set up perfectly to accommodate us and our five kids. It was a little cramped, but it worked. I mean, it's, it's not easy to find any house out there that can accommodate seven people. We moved into that house and we started the next chapter in our life. We had like eight to 10 aquariums at the time. We were keeping everything from African cichlids to angels arowanas and even stingrays. I had 125 gallon that I still have. It's right here. And that tank was five years old when I bought it. It's never had one leak. Anyway, this is the tank. I had two arowanas, silver arowanas and two Matoro stingrays in. Don't worry, I eventually upgraded them into an eight foot tank. Not this one, it was another one. It's a long story, but we had that tank set up in our living room. I wanted it to be front and center right next to the TV so that I could just sit there and stare at it all the time. And believe me, I did. Well, things were fine. We were loving life. Everything was great for about four or five months. And then our landlord came to the house to fix something. I don't even know what it was. And he saw that tank and he said, oh, we can't have that. I was stunned. I was like, w what do you mean? What am I supposed to do? These are my babies. I absolutely love these fish. And he said, well, I don't care what they are. They can't be here. I said, okay, well, what am I supposed to do? And he said, well, the garage has heat. You're in luck. So put them out in the garage. They'll be fine. You can heat it up. Your power bill is going to be a little bit more, but it'll work. Now you might be think that this was the landlord just being mean. And at the time I certainly did, but the more I think about it, it kind of makes sense. This guy had this home that we were living in as an investment property. He wanted to make money on this property and that was gonna be in jeopardy if we have 125 gallons of water that's only being held by silicone sitting on the second floor living room of his house. See, a lot of you might hear this and you might think that his main concern was the weight of this tank. And the weight is certainly a concern. These things weigh a lot when they're full of water, but that wasn't his concern at all. His concern was leaks. This tank was on the second floor. So if all of those 125 gallons came out of it, it would have gone onto the carpet, through the pad, through the subfloor, down into the structure of this building and possibly down through into the basement. It would have caused unbelievable damage. I mean, I understand it now, but I gotta be honest, at the time, I was pretty pissed. He ended up giving us permission to put the tanks down in the basement on the concrete floor down there, which was kind of nice. And so we did that and we also put the big ones out into the garage and that worked out pretty well. And we ended up buying a hundred more tanks and starting our business and the rest is history. So I guess it was kind of a blessing in disguise, but it was wild. Before we move on to the next story, have you checked out our website yet? If you haven't, you should. I mean, listen, there's a reason why so many people are saying that this is the best website that's ever been created. I, I'm not saying that. They are saying that. So, I mean, everybody can't be wrong, right? You should go check it out. Carl. The next time something like this happened was actually the last house that we just moved out of. Hey not seven months ago, a while back. We went and looked at that house on the 4th of July of 2018 and we instantly fell in love with it. It was perfect to accommodate our entire family and some new family members that were coming home from California. So the house was absolutely perfect. And we even wanted to buy it, but we couldn't end up buying it because we started our business and the website, we wanted to keep it on the property and that house, it just wouldn't have worked for that. It was only on a quarter acre and 
it just wouldn't have worked. Plus we would have paid way more for that house than we paid for this one. And this one's on five acres with the big barn in the back that we use to store all the product we sell on the website. And did I mention five acres? And there's something else. Um, uh, oh yeah, this fish house. Anyway, when we were moving in, I got to meet my neighbor there and he was awesome. He's still a friend of mine to this day. But while we were talking and getting to know the situation, we found out that he actually manages the property for the owner of it. He managed a lot of houses in the neighborhood. And so my dumbass thought it was a great opportunity to ask him, hey, do you think she would have a problem with us moving uh, about a thousand gallons worth of aquariums into her house? And he said, um, no. The owner had just completely renovated that house from top to bottom, including putting new hardwood floors everywhere except for the basement. So I don't blame her. I wouldn't want something like that or like that. We didn't have that yet, but you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want that going on brand new hardwood floors. Now this really wasn't a big deal at the time because our plan was to put the aquariums in the garage and down in the basement, which had a tile floor. And she had actually told us that was okay to go down there. So, you know, it didn't stop us from doing anything we wanted to do. But, oh, wait a minute. I totally forgot. I did put 275 gallons into my office when we... F Shh. Oh, it's hot in here. Had to sit down. The point that I'm trying to make with all this is if you're renting and you're getting ready to move into a house, you need to make sure that you talk to your landlord before you start moving a bunch of aquariums in there. Thank you. Up until Lisa and I bought this house, we rented everything that we lived in, and we never had a landlord refuse to allow us to put aquariums in the house or somewhere on the property. There was always rules though. It could have been, you're, you can put them in, but you can't put them on the second floor. Don't put them on any rooms that have carpet. And we even had one say, yeah, you can put them in there, but you're gonna give me a little bit more security deposit just in case they do damage, which is kind of normal because I mean, even if you're gonna bring dogs in, which we have three of those, they ask for more security deposit. So it's almost like bringing another pet into there. And uh, no we didn't get that security deposit back. It was your fault. It was your fault. I know it. But the point is we never had one of them say, absolutely not. I don't want any of those glass boxes anywhere near my property. That didn't happen. But you don't want to have that happen to you, believe me. And there are landlords out there that are strict about this kind of thing. So make sure you check with them before you sign any papers. Imagine you're one of those people that just happens upon one of our videos about aquariums and you don't have aquariums. You don't know why you were recommended this video. I've, I've had people come up to me at events and say that. I was just on YouTube and somehow I ended up on one of your videos and now I have nine aquariums. Thanks. Anyway, you see a video and for whatever reason, it catches your eye. And so you do what so many of us do and you fall down that rabbit hole of watching hours and hours worth of aquarium content, hopefully ours. Baby kitty, you go over there. No, you go over there. Why don't you lay on this? Why don't you lay on this? It's perfect. Lay on that. Can't work in these conditions. There was actually a political commentator on YouTube that described this exact thing happening to him. He thought about getting a fish tank, so he did what we do. He went to YouTube and watched tons and tons of content about it. And his wife was like, why are you watching videos about fish? And he corrected her and said, <clears throat> excuse me, it's fish keeping. I wish I could say who that was that said that, but, uh, I don't feel like losing half my audience. Anyway, you do this, you spend all this time, you invest all of these efforts into research and finding out what filter you want and what lights you want and all what kind of fish you want. And it's that's the most exciting part, right? We've all been through it. It's tons of fun. You do all of this, you spend hopefully weeks and weeks preparing for this and then you, you do it. You go and you buy all of the stuff and you pick out the perfect fish. This is the most amazing fish that there's ever been in water. You walk up to the tank and it greets you when you walk up. It has 
all kinds of personality. This is exactly what I needed to help me get through these difficult times. But then your landlord or a maintenance guy shows up and says, um, yeah, you got to get rid of that. Don't let this happen to you. It sucks. We didn't have to get rid of ours, but we did have to move them and take them away from what we thought was a perfect spot. And trust me, that sucked too. If I can get a word out edgewise, please, please. Let's talk about something. Oh, this is too much. Let's talk about another angle to this that a lot of people don't think about. Utilities. Stay over there. Stay over there. I love you. Stay over there. No, I love you. You're too much. It's too much. It's too much. This, is this my video or your video? How many people commented on the last video, we need more cats? <laughs> I've never lived in a rental property that included utilities, but I know they're out there. Maybe it's an apartment complex or something like that that includes power and water as part of your rent. They're gonna have a huge problem if they see that you're using way more water and way more power than everybody else in the complex. I mean, I understand that we don't use that much power and water, but you know what I'm saying. It's noticeable. If somebody's sitting there looking at the numbers on a computer, it might be noticeable. The landlord, if he sees this, is gonna do one of two things. He's gonna look at your usage and say, why is this idiot using so much power and water? And he's gonna to wanna to investigate that. Or he might say, there's a ton of water being used in that one apartment. I'm afraid we might have a leak. We better go check it out. Both of those scenarios will bring your landlord to your house where he will undoubtedly find your illegal stash of aquariums and probably make you get rid of them. So the bottom line is, if this is a brand new hobby to you and you're thinking about setting it up in your place or you're getting ready to move to a new place, be sure to speak with your new potential landlord about all of this before you get so excited and then end up having all of your dreams crushed because they don't wanna damage their precious floors. And for the young people that are watching this, your landlord is probably your parents. Make sure you talk with them about this before you sit there for hours and hours and get so excited about doing it only for them to tell you, nah, we ain't got room for that. So there you go. I hope baby Kitty and I have been able to help you dodge a bullet on this one. And if we did, you might wanna subscribe because I do videos like this all the time. And listen, I'm gonna give you something special here. If you wanna watch the most important video that's ever been made about aquariums, click right here to watch that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Say bye. Oh, I'm going to be sneezing all night.